We are at the Atlanta International Raceway for the 17th race of Season 4 of the SCRL NASCAR Legends Series. The four car of Mitchell Collins will lead us through the green flag. Start beside him is the 64 of Josh Nixie. Kristen Russell, our points leader, will be starting in the 25th spot. That's the starting lineup for today's race. All 42 drivers are here. In Season 1, Truttle won this race. His car is being driven by Silas Nixie, starting 39th. In Season 2, Ice Monster won that race. His car is being currently driven by Leroy Jones, starting 35th. And in Season 3, Matt Johnson won that race. Matt Johnson is not here to defend his win from one season ago. The driver that is starting 25th, our poise leader Christian Russell, will be looking to sweep Atlanta, which has been done one time. That was in Season 1 by Truddle. So we will see if for the second race in a row, a driver can win and sweep a track. Of course, the Kakawat Line went in at Bristol. So Atlanta International Raceway. A beautiful clear day here at the 1.522 mile oval. And we have one driver making his last career start in his home state. Aureus driving to number 43, starting 17th. Here is the command. Drivers, start your engines! And it's also curious to note, Aureus has never won at his home track. The field is rolling off. Doesn't look like anybody's having any problems. A beautiful day here for racing at Atlanta. There he is, Aureus, making his last ever start. His last ever start at his home track. Has never won. In any leagues he has competed in, he has never won. So we'll see if he can visit victory lane. He already won earlier in the season on Ontario, so he can go out on a high note, win it in his last season. But I'm pretty sure he would like to win in his last start at his home track. Mitchell Collins will lead us to the green. Remember, in the spring, we had a photo finish for one thousandths of a second. Can we make it even closer? We shall see. Pull them belts tight. We are racing 32 laps here at the 1.5 mile oval. We are racing here at Atlanta. Up into turn number one. Mitchell Collins gets a good jump thanks to the wing. We got three wing cars on the inside line. Mitchell Collins, Jack Legacy, and Cassie Dent. Battle for second place, here comes Cassie Dent, our Talladega race winner. Can she clear Jack Legacy in turn three? It looks like it, here comes Sebastian Torres trying to make it three wide. He almost spun her out. The lead in the first lap is Mitchell Collins in the four car. Into turn one, into turn number two, 31 laps to go. Sebastian Torres goes up the track, trying to get a run, going down the back stretch. But he allowed the do door to be open. Here comes the 29, Marco tells it, but Sebastian Torres barely got in front of him. Sebastian Torres battling for second now. Oh, I hear scraping. Four wide. Not good, but they actually made it. Wow. Great driving by these drivers. Anyway, back up front. Second Fitzwater pushing Eddie Wacumbe into second place. But Fitzwater makes a move into turn number four, making it three wide. Oh, I hear a crashing. And Mitchell Collins leading to the caution flag. And Muhammad Zain Abdullah, Simon Fox, Jimmy Sampson, Trevor Collins, Al Legacy appears to be the drivers that were involved. And we get to have these drivers calm down just a little bit. It took us three laps. We are finally under caution. We'll take a look and see what caused the wreck. Here's the cause of caution. 
Let's see, the 0-6, Ty Dent slides up the track into Muhammad Zain Abdullah. Looks like Muhammad goes right in front of Trevor Collins. The two cars lock bumpers. And they just go up the track into the guardrail and concrete wall. Muhammad spins out. Trevor Collins gets damage. Comes back across the track. Our Legacy, nowhere to go. Simon Fox, nowhere to go as well. Jimmy Sampson, hard into the... Oh, wow. Hard into the outside wall. Comes back across the track. And that appears to be it. That was a hard hit by the double zero, Jimmy Sampson. Driving that Thomas Brothers uh, ham entry. Go on board with him. You see the crash happening in turn four. He's going to get nailed by Al Legacy right here. And almost head on into the concrete wall. There's no safer barriers there. This is 1970. And yeah, that was a hard hit. Thankfully that driver was able to drive it back around, so he is okay. But that car is going to have a lot of damage to the right side of that vehicle. Well, that's the cause of caution. We'll take you back to the restart. And we are back. The 34 Al Legacy is the only car out of the race. We still have 41 cars in this race. Mitchell Collins is our race leader. Second is Sebastian Torres. Third is Zachary Fitzwater. Fourth, Eddie Wicumbe. Fifth, Marco Telzit. Sixth, Cassie Dent. Seventh, Carter Joey. Eighth, Dale Jones. Ninth, Bob Joseph. And tenth is Dillian Ibrahimen. Get this race restarted. And we're back to racing here at Atlanta. Metro Collins has led all seven laps so far. Here comes Eddie Wacumbi for third, trying to go around Zachary Fitzwater. And he will complete the pass. Next target, Sebastian Torres in the 22. Sebastian trying to push Mitchell Collins, keep him in the race lead. And Collins trying to block too late. Looks like we will have our first lead change of the day. And we will. Eddie will come be leads that lap. Here comes the 29. Marco tells it. And he will take the race lead. And we got three cars trailing. That's Trevor Collins, Jimmy Sampson, and Mohamed Zayn Abdullah who are involved in that caution. Go through the field. Here comes the 18, Cassie Dent, our Talladega race winner. She knows how to get it done on the speedways. She will lead a lap. Here comes the 16, Dale Jones for the race lead. Jones still looking for his first career win, being pushed by the 07 of Bob Joseph. Being pushed by Dillian Eberheimen and Sebastian Torres. Another lead change. Here comes Bob Joseph. And Bob will lead a lap. Here comes TJ Dent. Being pushed by Sebastian and Adam McDowell. Looks like Sebastian's not going to wait for TJ. Here he comes for second place. Sebastian's still looking for his first Legend Series win. Off of turn number four, Bob Joseph will lead yet another lap. As we will have 20 laps to go this time by. Bob Joseph with a little bit of a advantage over the other drivers. A tiny bit of a lead. But these drivers will catch back up with him rather quickly. Sebastian right on his draft. Ready to assume the lead. Battle for third. Here comes TJ Dent around the six. Adam McDowell. TJ Dent will take it over. Sebastian trying to set up the 0-7. Here he goes. For the race lead. Down the back stretch. Can he clear? Looks like he will. Sebastian looking to lead a lap. And he will. 
So despite the horrible season he's had, he will at least lead one lap this season. TJ Denton right behind him in a car almost identical to his. And we are catching lap traffic. The 11, the 68, and the double zero all involved in that crash. TJ trying to get under Sebastian. Here he goes. Whoa. Sebastian will lead yet another lap. Here comes Bob Joseph to try and take the lead. If he can get past TJ Dent for a second, of course. Check if it's water. There he is, moving up slowly. Trying to have a good run. See Bob Joseph and Josh Nixie working together to get past TJ Dent. And Sebastian Torres a sitting duck. As he leads another lap. It's good to see that driver lead some laps because he's had a horrible season. Go through the rest of the field. There's Orius not having a great run in his hometown. Battle for the race lead. Here comes Bob Joseph being pushed by Josh Nixie, and here's lap traffic. And it looks like they're going to hold up Sebastian Torres and the High Line and Fitzwater. Man, the two drivers that needed a win or a good finish. They're going to get held up by lap traffic, and it's going to ruin their entire momentum. Man, always lap traffic. Bob Joseph is our race leader. Josh Nixie second. TJ Dent third. Sam and Austin fourth. Chris Kyle in fifth. Chris Kyle trying to rebound after crashing out at Bristol while running in the sixth spot. TJ Dent looking for his first win in over five years. But he leaves the bottom open. Here comes Sam and Oskin. Oskin being pushed by Chris Kyle. Trying to go three wide, maybe? Possibly? Yes. Nope. Chris Kyle pulled out at the last second, not to make it three wide. Ryan Rush working his way up. Could have, would have, should have won Bristol, but got passed in the last few laps due to damage by Kakawat Line, who scored her 29th career win. White Line is nowhere in sight as of right now, so, yeah. Look at Brock Beer trying to make it three wide. The owner and creator of the last car, who details every driver who finishes last in a NASCAR-sanctioned race in the three main series, having a good run, going for second spot. But he's got a lot of tough challenges behind him, like Dale Jones, who's not going to allow him to be in second for long. Three wide action back here between Silas Nixie, TJ Dent, and Simon Oskin. Remember, Silas is driving the car that won this race in season one, and is still trying to give that car its first win of this season. We got the big gaggle of cars trying to chase Bob Joseph down. Has had almost a four tenths of a second lead the past few laps. Adam McDowell trying to go for second spot, not able to do it. And we are catching live traffic, the seven of Simon Fox. So let's see if he gets in the way of these leaders. Be 10 laps to go next time by. Single file for the most part, trying to get into the draft of Bob Joseph. Off of turn number four. Ten laps to go for Bob Joseph. Adam McDowell trying to go for second place. Looks like he will get it, being pushed by Dale Jones and TJ Dent. And they are getting ever so close to Simon Fox. Into turn number four. Down the front stretch. Nine laps to go for Bob Joseph. 
You heard a car scrape in the wall, but that's all right. No caution. There's White Lion struggling. Got held up by lap traffic. Brian Fox has worked his way up into the top 20, the spike starting last. Orius has made his way into the top 10, but I'm not sure he's going to stay there very long because he's going to get railroaded. And they have caught lap traffic, and they have passed him. And they are no closer to Bob Joseph than what they were. Laps are winding down. Dale Jones in second. TJ Dent third. Fourth is Ryan Rush, and fifth is Carter Joey. It's good to see. That, it's good to see we have some fresh faces up in the front. We usually have like Watt Lion or Sebastian Torres or Fitzwater. Good to see some fresh faces competing for a win. Nothing against the old guard, but the new guard is the future. TJ Dink gives a little bump to Dale Jones. TJ, like I said, going for his first win in five years. But Ryan Rush is not going to make it easy for him. But not able to get around him. And we are catching lap traffic yet again. Another lap led by Bob Joseph. Are these drivers just biding their time, waiting for the right move to strike? If they wait too long, this race could end under caution. Of course, we do not have the green-white checkered rule. TJ Dent goes a little bit wide in turn four, trying to get a run. Lap 27 has been completed. We got five laps to go. Here comes Ryan Rush for the race for second spot. He almost won Bristol, but damage to the right side of his vehicle prevented him from catching White Lion after losing the lead. We'll see if he can rebound here at Atlanta. Here comes the 56, excuse me, 59, Carter Joey trying to join the party. Four to go. And here's lap traffic. We are right there. We'll see if they get in the way. Bob Joseph going to get held up just a little bit. Ryan Rush, TJ Dent, Rush stuck on the high side, TJ Dent, and everybody else on the low lane. Yeah, that's going to ruin the high lane's momentum. And everybody except for Ryan Rush and Josh Nixie will pass lap traffic. Three to go. The field is spread out just a little bit because of lap traffic. Carter Joey pushing TJ Dent down the back stretch. Here comes Carter Joey for second. He's tired of waiting. Because if a caution comes out, race is over as of this point. We had a photo finish in the spring. Can we have another one? Chris Kyle trying to make it three wide. And looks like he will in turn one. He's determined to get that win after he messed up at Bristol. Be a lap and a half to go. As of right now, if caution comes out, that's it. Carter Joey trying to get in the draft. He's trying to close in. Off of turn number four. White flag one, lap to go for Bob Joseph. I don't think they're close enough. They're trying to draft together, Joey and Kyle. But Kyle's going to try and go for second, which is going to kill the momentum. And that'll be it for this race. They will not catch Carter, uh, Bob Joseph. Into turn number three, into turn number four. He's going to do it off the final turn. Bob Joseph scores his first career win in his 17th career start. Bob Joseph wins here at Atlanta. Another first-time winner. How about that? Here are your race results. Bob Joseph hangs on and scores his first career win in his 17th career start. Second, Carter Joey. Third, Chris Kyle. Fourth, Derek Edison. Fifth, Brock Beard. Sixth, Silas Nixie. Seventh, Carter Friesen. Eighth, Dale Jones. Ninth, TJ Dent. And tenth is Logan B. Cart. 
Oya Centaur finishes 17th in his last career start at his home track. Kristen Russell, our points leader, finished in the 28th spot. Rest of your race results, we had 37 drivers finish the race on the lead lap. Simon Fox, one lap down. Jimmy Sampson, Trevor Collins, and Muhammad Zamdula, all two laps down due to damage they received in the lone caution of the day. And Al Legacy finishes last due to damage he received during that first wreck. Well, that is it for Atlanta for Season 4. We had first-time winners in both events, the closest margin victory ever in the first event, and Bob Joseph scores his first win in the second. We'll take you to victory lane with Bob Joseph. Here are the points. Standings after the 17th race of the season at Atlanta. Kristen Russell is still our points leader. He has a 62-point lead over Carter Friesen. Third is Riley Spurley Tube, 75 points behind. Fourth, TJ Dent, 99 points behind. And fifth, Leroy Jones, 104 points behind. Sixth is Cassie Dent. Seventh is Cam Nixie. Eighth, Bob Joseph. Our Atlanta race winner gains seven spots. Ninth, Josh Nixie. And tenth is Simon Fox. Eleventh is Sammy Sammy Jr. Twelfth, Kaka White Lion. Thirteenth, Nathan Ordman. 14th, Eddie Wacumbi, 15th, Jack Legacy, 16th, Al Legacy, 17th, Sebastian Torres, 18th, Silas Nixie, 19th, Sam Oskin, and 20th is Carter Joey. 21st, Zachary Fitzwater, 22nd, Ty Dent, 23rd, Dale Jones, 24th, Mitchell Collins, 25th, Mohamed Zain Abdullah, 26th, Brock Beard, 27th, Jimmy Sampson, 28th, Chris Kyle, 29th, Paul Hogan, and 30th is Derek Edison. 31st, Logan B. Cart, 32nd, Brian McCason, 33rd, Cole Nixie, 34th, Delian Ibrahimman, 35th, Marco Telzit, 36th, Ori Sitar, 37th, Brian Fox, 38th, Adam McDowell, 39th, Ryan Rush, and 40th is A.J. Jones. 41st, Trevor Collins, and last is still Joshua Rush. That is your point. Stand is at the 17th race of the season at Atlanta. We will next see you at the 18th race of the season at the Michigan International Speedway. And until then, keep the hammer down and we'll see you at the track. <laughs>